Did you notice Mr Eccles' proposal yesterday on capital gains tax? Mr Graham. I read it in this morning's paper. The Chairman. Does it appeal to you at all? Mr Graham. Yes. I had a proposal of my own. I guess all of us have proposals on this thing. I think Mr Baruch will make one when he appears. We all have proposals. Mr Eccles' proposal basically is, I think, a sound one to differentiate more than the law now differentiates between the various holding periods. The Chairman. Your proposal, I thought, was simply a temporary device, and then I assumed a return to what we have. Mr Graham. Yes, that would be true. The Chairman. Which is certainly worthy of consideration. The effect is that if you hold it in a really long time, beyond, say, five years, he was not dogmatic about the precise ending of it, that there would be no capital gains. Does that appeal to you? Mr Graham. On the whole, it does, Senator. You may recall that a number of years ago we had a capital gains tax of that type and that the amount of tax went down to about 10%, I think, on holding stocks between 5 and 10 years and zero, I think, after 10 years. So these graduations are largely a matter of judgment, but I think the principle is sound. The theoretical objection to capital gains taxes is that the taxing something which does not appear everywhere in the national income or the gross national product and so on. This theoretical objection could be met in part by this gradation.